days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Good morning, Good. sports fans. You want to play? I can hold it for a second. Thank you. I haven't, I haven't got ready at all. What? You look totally put together. This is exactly what I slept in, and then I threw a sweatshirt on. I don't think you need a sweatshirt, honey. It's 72. Okay. Then I, I need some time to get ready. What? Okay. What is today? Uh, today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Can I have that paddle? Tuesday, and Carrie has made it. There she is doing some hair. We, during nap time, hence the sleep sack, we're gonna take the three big kids to Rock City, which is just one of the big tourist attractions here in Chattanooga. But the problem is, there was some horrible fog last night. Rachel and I had a little date night last night. What and horrible fog? Fog, yeah. yeah, look over to the mountain over there. Yeah, that's a lot of fog, which is not good when you're going to Lookout Mountain. Yeah. It's supposed to have lifted by 9 a.m. Well, it is currently 10 a.m. It's slowly but surely getting, getting a lot better. There's no way we're gonna see seven states though, because you're supposed to be able to see seven states from the Lookout. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how much we can actually see, but there's like other stuff there, like a waterfall. Hey bear, no, 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 no. You roll those, you don't throw those. Roll. So, we'll see what we see. We made it. So we are in no, rock. You're gonna, you're gonna get water on you. Oh no. I got water on me. Uh -huh. We are in Rock City. Oh, it was pretty up. awesome. It's like we're above all the clouds and fog. So it was like, as we were driving up, it just like cleared and it was like because ah, we talked about not even coming because it was just so cloudy this place is neat <laughs> so this is like a, he said three quarters of a mile uh, trail and he said there's lots to see and do along the way and it should take about an hour and ten minutes total that's if we go at a leisurely pace, which I think we probably will. Yes. This is a good start. This is neat. Grand corridor. Hopefully this big rock doesn't fall. Just kidding. Everything's very wet in here. Oh look, you can see steam rising up off of that rock. This would definitely be a great activity on like a really hot day because it's like super cool, as in like temperature wise. Guys, there's bubbles coming out of this. Bubbles? Look at this moss. Go ahead, Wee Wee, lead the way. I'm gonna lead it. All right, Lyndal. Needle's eye, go. I'm gonna lead it. <laughs> wow, you're at the needle. Okay, I'll lead. You're welcome. Whoa. 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 That's a tight squeeze. Oh, I'm gonna get low. I bet it's easy for you kids. It's definitely easy. Look at this, Daddy. We're so small. <laughs> We're so small. We're even leaving footprints. Whoa. Cool. So 
there was an alternate route. You could either do the stone bridge or the swing along bridge. <laughs> this place is awesome. We're like, yeah, she is fearless. Whoa. Is that Jesus? Whoa. So yeah, we're in the fog. Yeah, I mean, it's not horrible. You get a real, real nice view of the uh, junkyard. Is that a junkyard? Yeah, we drive by it on the way to the Airbnb. Neat. On a clear day, you should be able to see all seven states from here. <laughs> I could see probably probably two. Well, on top of all the trees, wow. it is bright. Nice little pit stop on top of the mountain. Not a bad view for a funnel cake enjoyment. Fat man squeeze. Uh oh. It must, get, it must get really narrow down here. It said fat man, daddy. Fat man squeeze. Are you calling me fat? No. Am, am I going to get squeezed? No. I think you'll have to get fat. I may, they may be. Everybody suck your gut in. <laughs> daddy, did you know where's Mar? Where, where's the smallest skin? See? Right here. Very it, it won't squeeze me. No, nope, you're tiny. Yeah. We're just kids. Daddy, look at me. I'm so small. Boy, you are so small. Again, guys. Oh, oh boy. Really oh, boy. Look Got at it, me. we? Look at me. Wow, you just oh, got it. Ta -da. Ta -da. Really good. Oh, nice and cool in here. Pretty wet. Ooh, I'm sideways. Daddy, be with me. Daddy, be with me. Well, yeah, but you're shorter. Look at these things. Hey, I just licked metal. Lindo. Disgusting. You licked it? Why do kids love licking weird stuff? It's so we weird. <laughs> Seriously. Ugh. So I wonder if we're near Fairyland. Maybe because this Oh, that looks like a fairy. Did you see me on the Oh, I missed it. Speaking of the waterfall. There it is. So the view's getting better by the minute. So that's Chattanooga down there. Ooh. I wish I would have got that reaction. We're like, Fairyland Caverns is next. And Bear's like, let's go! Okay guys. What do you think? What? 
Give us a review. What do you think of it? I love it. You loved it? What was your favorite part? Mine was I love that. Mine was the fairyland. Bear, when we were about halfway through, I didn't think that you were going to be a fan. No, but you said that you turned it around. And you did. And you did. I did. You, you really enjoyed the last half. You tried to get Mommy and Daddy to come with me. What? We tried to get you and Daddy to come with me. Oh. Because you were way before. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. The fairy the fairy part was really neat. Yeah. There were like Well, the whole thing. Was really all kinds of fairy tales and scenes that they had gnomes acting out. They were gnomes. For all of the common fairy tales. It was really well done. Yeah, really cool. Yes, yeah, so if you're not very agile, wheelchair, I don't have not great shape, it's not wouldn't be the activity for you. But. No. It's not like it was super strenuous, it just was not level ground or right. yeah, yeah, easy you had an terrain. Ankle sprain. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have an ankle sprain, you might end up with one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to the babies. Gosh, I am so glad we vlog. I'm editing the vlog from, oops, that was loud. The babies are down. I'm editing the vlog right now of our first night, our first two nights, I guess, of, of our trip. So, St. Louis. And I'd forgotten so much about that and that was just less than a week ago. And now we're almost at the end of our trip and it's just, I'm so glad that we have footage to look back on because it's, I don't know. Which is cool. I'm just talking about how I'm glad I am that we have footage to look back on of our trip because I already forgot how fun the St. Louis RV park was. Uh -huh. Like showering with Wee Wee and... <laughs> that's, what, that's the memory. <laughs> <laughs> it was just hilarious. Like I remember now how funny it was and yeah, she's something. That's a fun age. It is a fun age. The things that come out of her mouth. Yes. Yeah, she's hilarious. She's very well spoken. For three, I feel like she speaks in like she speaks like an adult, and so it's just really interesting to. Well, I think it helps having Bear and Lindell. Helps having Bear and Lindell, yeah, guiding her vocabulary. But it's just interesting to hear what a three-year-old has on their mind all the time. Are you sad we're leaving the house? I'm at the point where I'm ready to get there. It's yeah. Like you said it yesterday. Yeah. Um, just not looking forward to the babies getting sick yeah. today and then being in the RV for two more days. Exactly. You sure you don't want to just drive seven hours? I'm not sure. I don't know what would be worse. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it goes. Yeah, maybe we'll just see how it goes. The thing is, tomorrow night we are staying at a Harvest Host, which we can cancel. You're supposed to cancel within 24 hours, but I feel like if we call and explain... But it's we have, free anyway, right? It is, but they take reservations. Yeah. So, but this is one that has 10 sites or 14 sites? 15. 15 sites. So, <clears throat> I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see how it goes. The babies were, I mean, they just had like runny noses and coughs just like the big kids, but they were a little bit cranky today. Yeah. It was kind of a hard day to get through, even with Carrie here, and they went down to bed early. They haven't been sleeping great, like they, well, it's relative. Um, they've been sleeping through the night-ish with one feed, but waking up really early, and then like not napping very well, so it was just kind of a combination of them being overtired and a little bit stuffy, but I don't know. Well, and I paid for the Savannah. So the Savannah RV resort is going to be awesome. But because it was within 14 days or whatever, they take the full payment up front. Oh. So I doubt we would get, we might get refunded for that if we. Oh. It was, on, it was, skip it was $60, which. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of right at the edge where it's like, we, you should, don't. we should use it. Do it, but $60 all day, cranky kids in the car. Yeah. Yeah, well, we could extend that one if we got all the way to Savannah tomorrow. Yeah. All the way home would be a solid eight hours, and I think that's way beyond my wheelhouse right now. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, yeah, that would just be not fun for anybody involved. There is a, it looks like, yeah, storm coming in. I'm glad, so the weather has actually been perfect for the time that we were here and having the pool and everything. There was one little pop-up storm yesterday, and other than that, we've had beautiful weather for swimming. It's been warm, like really hot, actually, so the fact that the pool is kind of freezing cold is not a big deal, and 
then just like this last day, it's getting ready to storm, so we wouldn't be enjoying the pool right now. Anyway, and so the kids are watching a movie. They're getting ready to go to bed here. It's like 8.30. Babies are in bed. I'm ready to be in bed. 